Hi, welcome back to the Black Country Wench. My name's Rebecca and today I'm going to show you what I've been picking up from the charity shops. So on Saturday, I went out to the charity shops and picked up a couple of items. I'm going to get into this video and show you what I bought. So the first thing I bought was this artist's mannequin. <laughs> a little bit strange. Well, it's not if you're into this sort of thing. So it just reminds me of being at school and having these sort of things. I thought it was pretty cool, actually. So I have looked at listings on eBay and it is a little bit saturated, to be fair. But I paid £2.75 for this. Fully works. You can put them in different positions and stuff. So pretty cool, really. And going to list him and see how he does. Might probably be hanging on to this for a little bit looking at eBay because it is a little bit saturated, but we'll see. It's worth a try. <laughs> The next thing I picked up from the same charity shop were this pair of, it's like brown trousers, jeans, trousers, they're ladies. They, I have took the tags off because I've already photographed them. I think I've already listed them actually. From Marks and Spencers originally, so they've got that tag still on them, but they were 99 pence. They were meant to be, I think the shop had them for 3.99, but they're on the 99p rail and I thought I'm having them. 99p is worth taking a gamble, in my opinion. So picked them up. They are long in the leg. There's no wear to them at all. I suspect they're new because they've still got that on. Bit of a giveaway, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going to see how I get on with those. So worth the shot at 99p the next item i bought was from the same shop so i bought a few items from this shop and it's a lady's skirt sort of like i don't know knee length skirt i guess it's i don't know if this is vintage i might be talking rubbish <laughs> but it's not my cup of tea it's not my sort of thing but it's St. Michael. Is that Marks and Spencers? I don't know. But there you go. Size 14. And St. Michael. And it's made of cotton. So we've got that. It's got a zip on the back, which does work. And it's this sort of time of year. It's those sort of colours. So hopefully, maybe somebody will be interested in that. Nothing really much else to say about that. I paid 2 99 for this. So I'm going to see how it does. So yeah, that's that one. The same shop I bought, I paid up a little bit for this to be fair. I bought this Kawasaki motorcycle sort of polo shirt. It's got all like the brand names like Mac Tools and all those that you'd imagine for like mechanics and all of that. I've also got Bathams on here, so Ailes and all these sort of sponsors on the sleeves. Um, and then on the back, I thought this was pretty cool actually. So we've got that design on the back, which was pretty cool. And then we've got these logos here, which are rubber. So I thought that is pretty cool. I say rubber, I'm not sure if it is actually rubber, but it's like that sort of a nice sort of feel to it. And it's a size small. I paid six pounds for this. I've not looked on eBay for this. I've taken photos ready, but I need to see what comps are doing. So hopefully I'll make my money back and get a little bit of a profit on that. But I'll be intrigued on this one. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Might be a fail, but you never know. This is why you've got to experiment and learn. So the next item is clothing again. Now this is like a green, like a light green sort of embroidered shirt. Now I thought this was quite nice. Not the sort of thing I'd wear for me, but the actual design of it is quite stunning really. That's embroidered. This is what brought me to this really, where I thought that embroidery is absolutely beautiful, but it looks beautiful. And it's, it just looks like it's well made. It's that brand, which I don't really know. And I think it's cotton. The label's in here somewhere, it's halfway up. 100% cotton. So it might be the wrong time of year for this because it's quite lightweight. But then again, it's, it's, some, it is, it's different. It just looks different. And it's quite nice, although it's not something I would wear. You can still like things, can't you? Even if you don't wear them. But it's just, it's different. So I thought I'd give that a go. Now I paid £4.95 for this. Not sure if I've paid a little bit too much, but we'll see. We'll see how I get on with this. The next item is a pair of shoes. 
I'm just gonna get them off the floor. So these are ladies hush puppy shoes. They look all right, to be fair. I have tried them on because they are my size. I've not bought them because they're for me. They're way too tight. Hush puppies are meant to be comfortable. So I think I probably paid a little bit too much for this. And people are probably going to be shocked at how much I paid. <laughs> but I'm a little bit mad at times. So it's leather. And that's why I thought hush puppies are meant to be good. But the other reason is because there's barely, if anywhere, on the bottoms of these. They are in very good condition i don't think i don't think they've been worn at all there's nowhere but they're in good condition they're all right for this time of year it's this sort of autumn sort of look to them and actually they're not too bad it's not the sort of thing i would wear but i'm not really into shoes i've only got a couple of pairs of shoes that i wear regularly a pair of trainers and a pair of boots that's it <laughs> i'm not one to have 50 pairs of different shoes and not know what to wear but they're okay any women watching are they all right i don't know but they're not ridiculously stupid heels like stilettos i paid eight pound 95 for these i think probably in hindsight i think it might be a little bit too much but it's leather it's hush puppies i don't know if i've paid too much but we'll see this is the thing with experimenting um I'm not too sure, but I'm going to put them on eBay and see how I get on with them because hopefully somebody will buy them and we'll see. Next were a pair of shoes as well. And again, not my cup of tea at all, but I did try these on and they are very comfortable. Good grief, they are comfortable. But me wearing these, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just not for me. I mean, the thing is as well, like, which they're quite pointy. So my feet end about here. And then you've got all this, and I just thought, no, it's not the look I wear. They're okay. They're leather, and they're Sally O'Hara, if you can see. They have been worn, to be honest. But again, they're in good condition. Barely anywhere, really, but they have been worn. And this has still got the price on it. This was a little bit cheaper, £3.95. So you can see somewhere, but they're still in good condition, and they are leather, so I thought, give those a go. I don't know about the brand. I just thought they're, they're leather. Maybe somebody will want them. It is that style that I do see women wearing. It's not my sort of shoe that I'd wear. I don't really wear heels, but somebody will hopefully like them. But giving them a go. And the last pair of shoes, I went shoe mad, considering I'm not a shoe sort of person. <laughs> these are brand new. And I was amazed at this. And again, I paid up for these. So you're probably thinking, oh God, what's she doing? And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm winging it. So these, again, it's not my cup of tea. But I, I like them, but I don't at the same time, if that makes sense. I, not to wear. But I like the design of how they're made. They look they look different. And I like things that are different, but it, they're, they're not for me. They're Joe Browns, which are a good brand. They've got this lacy bit here. Maybe someone could wear them to a wedding, if it's a summer sort of event. They're actually all right. They're not my sort of thing. I don't really like them, if I'm honest. I wouldn't wear them. But they are, they're new. These have not been worn. I know that it looks like a mark there, but that's where I took the label off. I need to just clean that up. But there's nowhere at all. You've still got this label on it. They're a size six. And they're in really good condition. Well, they're, they're new. So... I'm going to see what these do. These, I did pay up again for them. And it is a risk. It's a massive risk. But I paid £8.95 for these as well. So both of those pair that were £8.95, I paid a little bit up for those. I'm going to experiment and see. It is more of an experiment because I don't know much about shoes. But for me, throwing myself in the deep end and trying this is the only way I'm going to learn. They're not too bad. Probably the wrong time of year for the style because they look more spring summer time shoes but we'll see see how i get on they do look very weddingy but yeah somebody might want them christmas party i don't know beer garden <laughs> but yeah we'll see and the last thing i bought was this so this was really impressive i don't know if it's worth anything but it was very striking and i went around the shop and came back and thought i'm gonna pick this up now this is like a vase it's very reflective and it needs a bit of a clean. But this is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. But 
it's absolutely stunning like the design of it it's it's gorgeous it really is just beautiful the artwork the camera's not picking it up and doing it justice really but it's stunning absolutely beautiful now this is and i'm going to probably not pronounce this very well so it's called fakiolas <laughs> i don't know <laughs> this is what it's called oh it's echoey so basically it's not focusing i'm trying to get it to focus on the bottom and it's not so it's pronounced well i'm gonna just spell it out f-a-k-i-o-l-a-s go on your glasses <laughs> and it says handmade in greece 24 karat gold now i didn't notice that until i got home I just bought it because it was a very pretty piece. It, it, it just looks nice and I don't know much about it. Now, I paid £2.50 for that. I need to get the label off it, but I paid £2.50. And I thought that was quite reasonable. There was only the one in the shop. It didn't come with anything else. And I thought, give it a go and see. But I've had a look into these and there's quite a few on eBay. I say a few, there's a handful on eBay. And... They are all over the place with prices, so I'm not too sure. But some of them are going for... Some of them are actually worth quite a lot. I don't know if this is. I can't find this particular one on eBay. But I'm going to research it a bit more before I put it on. But I thought it was stunning. To be fair, it's not usually the sort of thing I'd pick up. But I wouldn't mind cleaning that up and keeping that for me and putting it on the side. I say this about a lot of things, but it's absolutely stunning. It's just the artwork it's the artwork it's it's just the skill that's gone into it anyway i'm digressing massively but that was two pound fifty i'm going to do a bit of research and see i'm also going to show you because i nipped out this morning to the post office to get some things posted and i went to a charity shop and i bought two items i'm just going to quickly show you what i bought today as well so i'm just going to grab my bag bear with me one moment Right, I've got the bag. It's next to me. I've not unpacked. There's only two items. It's going to be really quick to go through. You know what I'm like. I like to talk, so it might take 10 minutes to explain it. So the first item I bought was this. I said I was going to stop buying puzzles, didn't I? <laughs> and here we are with a puzzle. <laughs> so I bought this Simpsons. So it's like a Simpsons. It's What's it say? Imposter puzzle. Imp imposter puzzle <laughs> oh god so whatever this word says imposse puzzle yeah whatever so basically it's a simpsons jigsaw puzzle i thought it was pretty cool actually um yeah i think the simpsons things seem to be hit and miss i think so i'll put it on ebay and see but yeah it looks pretty all right i paid two pounds for that so all right reasonable um we're going to see how I get on. I've not checked there's anything in it, actually. I mean, it's not sellotaped within an inch of its life, but should we have a look? Oh, it has. It has been sellotaped. It has been sellotaped, so I will check that another time. I bought that for £2, and I'm going to see. That'll be a quick and easy list, to be fair. And this bag I bought, I've not looked at any comps or anything yet, because when I got home, I just, I just haven't. I haven't had a chance. So this is... I only bought it because I need a bag myself, but I might actually flog this. So it's a bag, it's just a grey bag, but it's a mini bag. I haven't looked at what it's worth on eBay, I've not looked. It was more so, I didn't, not so much for the logo, but it was more so because I need a bag, but I might actually sell it. It's got straps on it, it's got two compartments. It's got actually a compartment at the back as well, so you've got this little compartment there, so that's pretty cool. And I paid £3.95 for that. I'm going to see what it's like on eBay, but I didn't buy it for the logo. I bought it because it looks okay, because I could do with a bag that's not too big, but not too small, because the bag I've got is, it, it, I could do with something like this, and like a, a rucksack style bag, so it's $3.95. I'm probably going to sell it, to be fair, and see how I get on, but it's in good condition. It's clean on the inside, and yeah, that was the other thing I bought, so those are the things i picked up so saturday i have started to list some things and get photos ready and do draft listings for them today i've only got the two items they'll be quick and easy to list i'm gonna have a quick look at this bag and look at comps and everything for things see how i get on with all those list them on ebay and hopefully people will be interested <laughs> but this is the thing it's experimenting 
not really picked up much really saturday i picked up quite a few things to be honest so i was impressed with that and it's kind of made up a little bit for the slower paced week and it's just taking things as it comes really taking one day at a time because you can't plan with reselling you just it's it's unpredictable but that's a good thing because you never know and i think that adds to the excitement of we don't know what's going to happen so i like that in the sense of at the moment it's it suits me because you just got to put the work in and just enjoy it enjoy the journey and that's what i'm doing if you did watch this far thank you for watching thank you for everybody liking and subscribing and commenting it does mean a lot to me it's just nice to know that people are enjoying this content so thank you so much for that i do like replying to everybody's comments as well i try and get around to everybody's comments when i can it's just me talking about what i'm buying and selling and if people are interested that's brilliant so thank you so much for the support you're giving me i'm going to leave it there for now and i will see you in my next video